Well, hello everybody. I just kind of want to go over building an emergency flight control panel for the A-10. So for this particular one, I kind of wanted to go more in depth into DCS BIOS and the ease of use of DCS BIOS. So for this particular video, I wanted to start um, just loading the game from scratch. So I'm gonna go ahead and click fly. And while that is loading up, um, the emergency flight control panel basically consists of a uh, kind of bill of materials here, just roughly four two position toggle switches, two three position toggle switches, a uh, hat switch, and uh, some enunciators that we've got from PCFlights.com and uh, crazy price on them. They actually are $3.25 per enunciator. And I'm gonna go ahead and click fly. And uh, that is a real good deal. Okay, so now that the sim is loaded, uh, what we'll do next is find our cursor here. And I just use this over here just to know what COM port the Arduino is on and it's on COM port 4 so basically DCS BIOS comes with the SOCAT file that opens up that particular COM port so I'm just click on COM port 4 and when you double click on it the COM port opens up and I'm going to just grab this window and slide it over here Get him out the way. Okay, now we're back to the cockpit. And I'm gonna just turn the uh, view here. So, this is the particular panel we're interested in. And if we hit our enunciator test button, we can see the panel in the game and the panel that's going to be the hardware we're going to be building. So basically I'm using an Adreno Nano and it's plugged into the uh, PC computer and basically your toggle switches and enunciators the uh, Adreno has a, a ground pin, it actually has two of them, but you're going to take that ground pin and you're going to, once it gets to your first toggle switch, you're just going to jump over that wire to your remaining components, and the other wire of that component, you're going to run to that particular Adreno pin. And later on in this video, we'll go into DCS BIOS and assign those particular pins to the toggle switches. Okay, for this part, we're going to use DCS BIOS interface real quick. I already have the control reference document opened up, so let's just jump to it. Uh, module, it's going to be the A10C, so I'll select that. View, I want to go for advanced so we can see all the switch options. And then since we're working on the emergency flight control panel, uh, instead of viewing all of these panels in here, we'll just only view the one. So we'll just go to emergency flight control panel and it takes us right to the spot. Okay, so next um, on your Arduino, you'll open up your Arduino IDE and for example, just go to files, examples. I'm going to scroll down to DCS BIOS and I'm going to select IRQ serial. So we'll just click that one. A new window pops up. So this is where we're gonna paste our code. So for me, I like to comment stuff, it makes it easier to find later. So I'm only gonna paste in four examples here. So I'll set my comment fields going and uh, I just copy and paste. And go to the next one, copy, paste in. And 
before I go too far, let me just grab the code for the first one. And let's see, we'll grab this one here, code, copy, paste that in. And then go down to the next one here, copy, paste in to this comment field. And then grab the code for multi-position switch, copy, go down to the next one, copy, paste, okay, and we'll grab the one for two position switch, paste that in, and we would just continue this pattern, et cetera, et cetera, but for this purpose here, we'll only do the first four. So for this one, I wired that to pin eight. And this one here is going to pin nine on our controller. The next one, I think I selected pins 10 and 11. And for the hat switch, pin A4. And then regular pin four. Uh, let's see, seven, I think I used the next pin was five, and then the last pin was six. And for the flap emergency release, I think that went to pin 12. So you just basically copy in your um, switches here from the control reference dock, and then you just fill in the actual pin that you used, that you connected it to in your microcontroller and you just repeat that steps for all of the switches and enunciators so you just repeat that and and that's basically it and that's DCS BIOS in a nutshell so basically once you have done that you save your file compile it and then you load it into your Adreno and that's kind of where we're at now um, so just for example, if I operate the toggle switches here, uh, you know, the code takes care of the rest. And for example, and again, the price of these enunciators was from PCFlights.com. $3.25 per enunciator. And that's a good deal there. Um, this particular hat switch I ordered from a DigiKey. And uh, that is this guy here. So you could move this guy around. And the remaining components, I believe, came from like uh, Mauser. Sometimes I get stuff off of eBay as well. Um, but that's basically it. Um, this particular switches were like, for example, the two position switches was only three dollars each, and uh, they're not an exact replica of the ones in the game. Uh, the simulator, these particular switches here are a, a lot more. These switches are about maybe 30 to $40 each for these guys. But for our purposes, this guy was close enough. <laughs> so, um, well, that's about it for this video. Just kind of want to go over getting hardware components and wiring them to the Arduino and it doesn't it isn't too bad you can probably do this in a day and uh, future videos I might get into um, uh, making the actual panels like for example 3d printing your panels and mounting your components to uh, your panels here. I think this one was an old version of the um, oxygen panel, I believe. And uh, so I use um, 